All right, so today we'll do, as normal, we'll do a total body mobility session. We're gonna start with something uh, in yoga they call a swan dive. So just mobilizing our back, kind of stretching out our shoulders, getting our hamstrings. So what we're gonna do is start with our arms high above our head, and then at our comfort, we're just gonna swing down, let that body hang, pull ourselves back up, come right back up into it, right? We're gonna go for five, just like that. I'm doing my best to keep my legs straight to really mobilize my hamstrings, diving down, right? On my, on my fifth one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lateral pull, just to get a little bit more lat involvement. So I'm up on this last one. I'm gonna come down and show you a lateral view. I'm gonna drop to my left, drop to my right, right? Kind of stretching out my lower back, my QL muscles on the sides. All those things get nice and tight from sitting at our desk all day. But that should feel good, not bad. If it's too much tension on the hamstrings, you would just bend those knees a little bit, right? Awesome. So now we're going to move on to a little bit of chest opener. We're going to take our hands, we're going to interlock them behind our back, and we're going to push away, right? So now what I'm doing is driving my chest forward, really pushing my hands down behind me, feeling that chest stretch a little bit of bicep and shoulders, right? And now we're gonna do that same swan dive we did, but without the arms. So I'm gonna bend my knees, drop forward, let my arms pull over, intensifying that stretch in a little bit different areas, right? Feeling maybe my triceps a little bit more, my lats, coming back up, relaxing. We're gonna go two more times, right? Knees are soft, but somewhat straight to get that hamstring involvement. Just mobilizing my upper body. Should feel good, not bad, right? A little twisting, rotating. You know, movement is individual, so feel free to adjust as you need, right? Beautiful. That should feel really good, no pain. All right, so we're gonna go for a little bit of shoulder rolls. We've done these a thousand times, right? But they're great for people that are working at a desk. So I'm gonna pull my shoulders up, pull them back, drop them down mobilizing, getting those cracks out, right? Getting our blood flowing before we do a little bit more intensive movement. I'm gonna roll back five, and then I'm gonna pull forward five. All right, I'll show you both directions. Rounding those shoulders. We're gonna go into a little bit more of a challenging quad stretch than we've done before. So number one, right? I'm standing tall, I'm gonna grab my right ankle with my right hand. I'm gonna enjoy that stretch first, right? Get it nice and close to my opposing knee, yeah? I'm gonna reach with my opposite arm up, right? So now I'm also getting a hip stretch on my left, a little bit of obliques. And now if I'm capable, right, go slow. I'm gripping the floor with my ground, uh, gripping my foot with the ground. I'm soft knee and I'm gonna pull forward, right? Reaching, standing back up. See, look at me, I'm losing my balance too. Back up, find my balance. And reaching through. Perfect, and we'll switch sides, right? Grabbing left ankle, squeezing this glute, intensifies that stretch in that quad, keeping that knee nice and close, right? Reaching up, getting that hip stretch. Breathing through the movement, and then when you're ready, if you wanna try it, right? Soft knee, reach in. Real good stretch on that left side, right? And then activating those muscles on that right side. Should feel excellent. Um, I don't know if anyone else fell over like I did. Um, okay, so we're gonna go into a little bit of groin. We're gonna go walk over, so we're gonna go wider than you think, right? My legs are nice and wide. I'm gonna sit back into my left hip, hands down on the ground, and then I'm gonna slowly shift my weight over, right? Now I'm getting that left side groin, breathing through my movement, extending through my right leg again and walking back over, sitting into that hip stretch. Should feel good, not bad. Let's go back and forth two more times, right? So we get three on each side. Sitting as deep as you can into the non-stretching non side, right? Everyone's gonna be different on that. Pushing back up and over and across. Good, last time on my right. Ooh, baby, I feel that one. Okay, what we're gonna do is something called a mountain climber, um, 
mountain climber hip stretch. So I'm gonna come into a high plank. So I'm gonna have both my hands under my shoulders, right? Strong plank. I'm gonna take my right foot and bring it as high as I can on the outside of my right hand, okay? I'll show you some different angles here. I'm gonna go this way too, right? Right, so I'm here. I'm now gonna drop my back knee. So my left knee I'm gonna put on the ground, and then I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna rotate and reach towards that sky. Right, so I'm getting multiple things here. I'm getting my left hip, my right groin, my spine, right? I'm loading my shoulders a little bit. So now coming out of it, right? Left knee back up by pushing into my left toe, right leg back, left leg up, knee down, enjoying that stretch, and then opening laterally. We're gonna do that two more, two more times so we get two on each side. I'm gonna face this way for you this time. Right, so I'm here, leg is up, knee is down rotating getting that good thoracic stretch through my spine breathing and rotating hand back down knee up foot back foot up knee down right breathing through the movement and then when you're ready opening for that last stretch on that side should feel really good we should not have any discomfort with that Awesome. All right. Where are we going next? Um, okay, so we're going to go into a down dog, which we've done before, but we're going to add a little heel press into it. So high plank again, right? Hands stacked under, toes, toes, push back, head through the hole is essential here, right? A lot of times you see people like this. Drive that head back so you get a real good shoulder stretch as well, right? Mobilize that shoulder. Then I'm going to pulse back and forth through my heels, mobilizing my ankles, my calves, my hamstrings, right? Really driving that head through that hole, shifting, shifting my hips around a little bit to intensify the stretch on different places of my body, right? Should feel good, not bad. Good, we'll drop back down into a high plank, holding, feeling that weight of the body. Drive up one more time. Let's go for 10 heel presses. Breathing through the movement, pressing, driving those hips back and forth, just opening up that body. Beautiful. All right, so we're going to come down and we're going to go into a pigeon stretch. This is a pretty intense stretch, so go at your own pace, right? And I'll show you some regressions for it. So I'm going to come into that high plank again. I'm going to take my right foot, bring it to my left hand, right? Opposites, knee goes down, back leg goes flat. And now this is where the regression would be, right? This is not so bad for most people. I'm still getting a really good stretch here in glute, hip, right? But if I wanna make it more difficult, I'm gonna to come to my forearms. So arm down, arm down, right? You'll feel that intensity growing in that hip. And then really breathing through my movement again, right? We'd aim for maybe a 30 to 60 second hold here. Remember oxygen produces blood flow helps that muscle kind of give it time to adjust to what you're asking of it, right? Or the joint or the ligament, whatever is feeling stuck. Yeah. It's also a really great one if you suffer from any nerve pain in your back, right? Loosen up those, loosen up everything back there, make you feel nice and good. Awesome. So we're going to come back to our hands. I'm going to tuck my left toe under, come off, back around, and I'm going to switch legs. Now I've got my right toes, at, uh, left toes at my right hand, right? This would be my regression. I'm definitely tighter on this side. So I might be that person that stays here because I'm already feeling it enough and I don't want to pull too much, right? But we'll come down just to show both, right? Really feeling my right hip with that leg that's back and then my left groin, butt, hip, <laughs> just about everything. You feeling it all. Good, breathing through the movement. We'll hold for another 30. Kind of, stretches are kind of those things that you feel better if you do it for long periods of time. If you do it too quickly, the human body kind of like doesn't respond to it naturally, right? You got to give it a, a little adjustment period. All right, so we're going to come back up, get out of that movement however you're comfortable. We're going to come lay on our belly, okay? And we're going to do a little bit different of a quad stretch. So I'm going to grab my ankle, grab my ankle, right? And for some people that alone is difficult, right? But if you're capable, go ahead and do it. 
And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze and pull in from both sides. So I'm pulling my chest and pulling my legs off the ground, getting my heels to touch my butt, right? Getting a really good hip stretch, chest stretch again, whole front side of my body is an extension, right? Relax, reset, breathing. And one more time, right? Squeeze and lift. Open that body up, opposite direction of what it's used to, sitting in that chair all day. Should feel good, not bad. Awesome. We're gonna rock out of it and go into our next movement. I'm actually like, just, I'm sweating a little bit. <laughs> okay, so bear crawl breathing, right? Your lats are interconnected to your abdominals. So what we're gonna do is a movement that incorporates the lats with the core as we breathe. Um, and if you've joined us uh, before during one of the sessions that I do this, you'll know the breathing drill is in through the nose, three count, out through the mouth, letting those ribs deflate as much as you possibly can so you feel like your abs are working really hard, right? Your diaphragm. So we're going to go hands under shoulders, knees under hips. I'm going to round my spine, feel me tucking in, right? And that alone, I feel like I'm using my abdominals. I'm going to look back, right? I'm looking at my belly button. I'm going to inhale through my nose. And then as slow as I can, exhale all the air out of my body. Now, that's just an example for, for you, but I want you to try to do it as long as you possibly can so you really feel your rib cage working, right? We're gonna go at three cycles. So, tuck pelvis, right? Spines at that sky. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth, as long as we can. Repeating one more time, right? Inhale, nose, get that set up right. Should feel really good. And by the end of it, you should really feel your abs hot, right? Body's warm just from the intensive breathing that you're doing. Really great way to relax to kind of get your mind off everything. All right, last one of the day, one of my faves. So we're gonna do a little nerve flossing of the back of the leg. So we're gonna lay down on our back. We're gonna take our right leg and cradle it in our hands, okay? I'm gonna leave my left leg where it is if I already know I have tight hamstrings. If you're kinda of like, and eh, pretty mobile, you can extend, right, as long as your lower back's on the ground, okay? Bring mine back here. I'm gonna extend the leg, pushing into my hand, right? So I'm kind of creating tension between my arm and my leg, and then taking my toe, I'm gonna make big circular movements around. Right, that's where the flossing comes in. So it might feel kind of funny to you on the back of your leg or in your ankle, running down here, right? Kind of a different stretch feeling. Um, some people might qualify it as bad, like an intense feeling, um, but that's nerve flossing. So we're extending the muscle, putting it in a stretch position, and then moving it around and purposefully moving it around getting everything in a little bit different position than it's used to should feel unique. We'll put it that way, unique, good. We're gonna put it back down. We're gonna switch sides, left hand behind left knee, extend, point that toe, feel that stretch to begin, and then rotating slowly but big circles, right? This leg is a lot more intense for me than my other leg, and I'm sure everyone probably feels like that one side than the other, if they're feeling it. Good, pointing and pulling. Pointing and pulling, getting that good stretch down the back of the leg, down the front of the ankle, into the sides of my calf. Good, should feel good. Look at that guys, we did it, 15 minute stretch. <laughs>